Hello and welcome to this video playing National Master Phantom and Phantom Anton. Ooh, okay, it's a, it's a pretty fun name, but I'm struggling. So, the Moroxy bind. B6, wow, okay. That's not really good, honestly. What is he doing here? The, the issue with B6 is it doesn't help you in, in any way. It's just um, a pretty, um, yeah, in, in some way useless move. And if I play knight d5 in the future, um, after the capture, he has got a huge problem with the c6 square. So we'll see how it continues. Okay, push the h pawn all the way up the board. Okay, so we get the scenario now with c takes. Sometimes e takes is good, but here c takes is preferable because this b6 move has given me the c6 weakness to work with. And I've had many games really where this was um, at the end pretty decisive factor. Okay, played h3, which was um, to be expected. I wonder if g4 or g3 should be played. g3 is a more normal uh, thing to do, so let's do it. I have to be a little bit careful that this f3 weakness is not hurting me like tactics huh? tactics somehow mm, I currently don't see it but still you have to be careful in some cases for example Bishop a6 is an idea to force some sort of um, okay I have f4 also, which forces knight g4. You can take that, knight c6. Okay, he wants to go rook c8 next, right? That is probably his intention. This is one of those cases where bishop a6 is desirable, but it looks a little bit shaky due to the weak f3 spot. Like f5 moves like that could be um, problematic. What if I play queen d1 threatening f4? Yeah, maybe this is over sophisticated. If that is a word. Hmm. He just ignores it. <laughs> so is there a brilliant idea or did he just blunder? No, he did not blunder actually. Hmm. F4, he takes, bishop takes, and he still has knight g4 because d4 is also hanging. That's pretty bad. Okay. That renders my queen, um, a queen uh, idea completely useless. The good thing is that, uh, why well, it's still better? Any end game is better because h3 is just a weak pawn. Let's say queen c8 or so, I'm just a lot better still. But uh, of course, that was not my intention. <laughs> I did not 
want to play it like that. An idea here, by the way, is g4 and queen f1 to pick up that pawn. Okay, g4, this is useful, I think. Also in the end game, yeah, for, for king g3, for example. Nah, that's not going to work. That's I don't believe it. Um, okay, so just take twice. Yeah. So he's got this check. And then he's got this check, okay. Maybe he's got queen to b7 here. Queen g8. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Am I losing this game? That would be a complete joke, really. <laughs> okay, I played, played badly, of course. So you deserve to lose, but it was such an utterly great position. Why doesn't he just take d5? What is the problem with this move? Does he have something better? This one, okay. Knight f3 or uh, maybe. Queen takes d5 was already, uh, I mean, huge that he had this, but maybe he felt that he has something better. I don't know. I mean, he was coming from a completely lost position strategically, so I would be happy to play queen takes d5. Ah. Oh, man. That is just awful. <laughs> yeah, the, I, I still had a better ending. Really, G2 was just gone if I just play it in, in, in a different move order. <laughs> crazy. That's a crazy, crazy game. I'm not resigning. I'm a bit too frustrated to do that just yet. I should resign. Oh man, that was, uh, I, I mean, losing in the Moroxy bind shows you that you should stop playing chess, really. From that position. I mean, the position is like, after this, white is strategically winning already. Yeah, You should just win the game. I mean, if you don't believe me, yeah, this is like plus one, which is, this is modest, really. I thought it's just it's more, but wait, okay, it will get more during the course of the game because he continued to play weird stuff. So this was g4 doesn't work. I mean, not in the sense that it wins or so because he has knight g4 as this is hanging. So something like this works for uh, works for him. But okay, king f2. And then he played uh, this insane move f5, which just straight away loses. Okay, I mean, black position is terrible anyway, but f5 is just crazy. So I take twice, he plays this, and now I just have to switch on my, my, my head and win the game. So queen f1 simply wins. 
I'm a typical case of stopping one move too early. I was just thinking, nah, I don't want to go here, but after that you can just resign because this is gone. And then the game has the end that it should have. That's totally idiotic. Then he played King Queen G8, which is good, of course. And now I'm just in bad shape. And then it this does not take on D5 as it was would be normal. He goes here, this, and here I'm still winning, of course. The, the end game is just winning because the G2 pawn will drop, and I just have to make it, just play, have to play in the right move order here. F4, and it's over, right? Yeah, gets to go back. Bishop f3, and you can resign. Yeah, because it's two pawns for nothing. And instead, I'm blundering this away because, yeah, pff, that's just totally idiotic. F4 still wins, yeah. I mean, it was really difficult to not win this game, but I managed. I'm always totally triggered because this is. Um, you keep, I, I mean, I'm playing this opening for white now for like 30 years and you, you keep getting those positions that win, win it, they win it, they win on their own. Yeah. You don't have to do anything. People are just in, in bad shape. They make some inaccurate moves and then you get a winning position. So for me, mentally, this is already over. And this is sometimes a problem because, yeah, I mean, you still have to like calculate the odd line. I mean, calculate is a strong word for stuff like queen f1 but um oh man yeah. okay thanks for watching